Good morning. Welcome back to Mikey Works. Uh, I'm here in my truck and uh, we're gonna make a, a nice trip out to go pick up an engine for the dune buggy. It belongs to a friend of mine and uh, he's agreed to sell it to me. He had it in a, in a bug a number, number of years ago and it's been in storage for a while so we'll probably go over it, um, check it out as part of the, the, the video series. Um, but I wanted to bring you along and, and uh, we'll introduce you to him and he'll let him tell you about it. And uh, let's get an engine for that car. All right. All right, I'm here with my buddy, Sean. Uh, we're gonna go and, and pick up this engine. Um, Sean and I are coworkers and, and, and buddies. Um, but uh, Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about the engine? Let's see, it's about uh, probably older than you. Uh, I think it's a 70, 1970 engine, uh, dual port, double engine, Weber carburetor, two barrel, with a TP pipe. Uh, has been running quite a few years, but uh, it's been sitting inside. Uh, it came out of a bug of yours? It did. What kind of car do you have? Uh, 70 Volkswagen. Okay. Uh, we're gonna work on the engine that we brought home and uh, see what we can do with it and I don't know maybe bring the same back to life to get it ready for putting in the dune buggy so I've got the engine here in the home shop um, it's a uh, not the heat, biggest shop in the world but you know I, I've got uh, some space in here it's climate controlled a little comfortable to work in so uh, this is the state that we brought it home in basically just wheeled it in on a hand truck um, and you can kind of see what we're dealing with. It was stored in a shed in a uh, non-climate controlled area. So it has a touch of, I don't know, what do you say, patina on her. Um, but that's okay. A lot of those parts will either be brushed up, cleaned up, painted up, or a little bit of, of all. Um, but you can see we've had some, some friends living down in there uh, making some homes. So we've got some work to do to try and see what all we have. Um, first comes first, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, she's probably stuck. Um, I'm gonna guess that it's probably just the rings that are kind of rusted or stuck in place. So what we'll do is we'll get these areas cleaned up right in here where the spark plugs are, right down there in the holes. Um, probably pull these tins so that I can clean underneath them before we do that so that means we'll take the doghouse off we'll take some other stuff off uh, and, and get some some areas cleaned up get ready to rock and roll in this thing we'll see what we can do so like I said there's a there's a lot of dirt and debris down in here um, in and around the spark plug so we're just gonna go shop back out and see what we can clean up Bring So we have an old motor, uh, a lot of patina on it, as I joked about. Now the challenge is uh, I, I need to get a bunch of stuff out of the way. So this doghouse, I want to get up and out of the way, but it's kind of underneath the, this stinger exhaust. Uh, I'm going to end up wanting to pull um, the intake runner tubes, a lot of other stuff. So we've got a lot of age on these bolts. So I have three choices. Uh, I could actually go four. One, 
I could wrench on them and hopefully be gentle on them. Maybe they'll break loose. Two is uh, I can wrench on them and uh, they're gonna snap off. That, that's probably guaranteed. Uh, three is I can put some penetrating oil on it and just keep soaking them um, for the next couple days and hopefully that'll break some of them loose. And four, which is, might be a combination of three as well, is uh, I might need to apply some heat to some of this stuff. So I can always use a, uh, a butane torch or something like that. So I'm gonna soak these down and uh, keep checking them. Okay, so I got the uh, exhaust stinger off and uh, the, the doghouse. Uh, the doghouse wasn't even bolted down. It was just kind of sitting there. Um, the um, alternator generator wasn't strapped down. Um, there was one bolt missing on the carburetor. So it had three or four bolts in there. Um, I've, you can see the amount of penetrating oil I've been spraying on it all day long. Uh, I'm gonna get this intake out of the way and uh, hopefully we can um, get some of these tins off. I, I, I'm working this far down because you can see the amount of mess in there. Um, you can see the um, the seeds, the the hulls, and it was coming right out of the exhaust. So the exhaust is just chocked right full on both sides. Um, there's stuff coming out of the exhaust pipes. Um, this thing was a home to a, a rodent of some kind. So. I don't even know what I'm going to find. So this this engine may or may not be salvageable. The case probably is. The heads might be toast. Uh, we'll see how bad they are because the if they made too many mouse nests in there, um, urea will burn through those those heads. Uh, so basically, the the mouse pee will burn right through those heads um, and and pretty much destroy them. So I'm going to get this uh, intake runner off and see where we go from there. Okay, we're back after a little more wrenching. I got the uh, the intake runners off. I uh, got the upper tins off. Uh, those are pretty well trashed. Um, a little rusted through in spots, but you can see how much of mouse nest is in here and everything else. It's down in the intake runners. Um, you can see it down in there. It's on both sides. Um, so I'm gonna get the shop vac on here, see what I can get. All right, got it. The top of the jug is cleaned off. Um, got a lot of the stuff out. There was a ton of material in there, including one of the offenders. Um, so now I'm gonna work gently. I'm gonna spray in here some more. I'm gonna try to get these spark plugs off on either side. Um, and then I'm gonna stick a boroscope down there and hopefully um, be able to see what it looks like inside the jugs. Uh, when I did stick the shop vac on here, um, it all I heard was uh, pieces and parts flying up in there for about uh, about 10 seconds. So I'm thinking it was stuck uh, because it's it was full of um, full of crap um, from the mice. So wish me luck. So I pulled the spark plugs. Uh, they were rusted in there pretty well. You can see the amount of water that had sat on them. Um, I've got, uh, you know, going from left to right, one, two, three, and four. Uh, number one actually snapped off a little bit inside the socket. Um, but luckily the whole thing came out. Um, you can see from the head, there's water, evidence of water in all four of the bores. Uh, so that's, uh, even before I put the borescope down there, that's, it's not very promising. Um, but we'll see what we can get on the borescope. Well, there's good news and there's, uh, <laughs> not so good news. Um, I did get the cylinder heads off. Uh, my boroscope battery was dead. I gotta charge it. it I'm not sure it would have mattered because um, it would have given me the same news. Uh, the heads had to come off. Um, so there's cylinders one and two. Uh, they are caked and rusted. And there's bores one and two. Um, they're pretty toast. Let me get the flashlight in here. Um, cylinders, the uh, pistons may be salvageable. You can see I cracked some of the edge of the jug off, trying to get the head off. Um, had to use a lot of penetrating lube and um, a drift to get the hammer, get the heads loose. Um, the heads might be salvageable, maybe, uh, but those jugs are toast. Uh, same goes for 
the uh, three and four side. Um, you can just look at the amount of sediment and corrosion and debris in there. Um, those jugs are absolutely destroyed from moisture getting down into the into the engine. Um, the cylinder head itself is pretty bad. Uh, might be salvageable, but who knows? So I'm kind of at a loss as to what I want to do now. Uh, I know I'm going to be stripping the jugs off this engine and working a little bit further, but this is about as far as I'm going to go right now. Um, just stay tuned and I'll keep you updated on progress. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Um, I don't, I, I'm not going to give up, that's for sure. This uh, this engine, we're going to resurrect it some somehow or some way um, and, and move forward with it. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for another MicroWorks video. Uh, I'm going to be dropping them every Friday morning um, with any regularity if I can. So thanks and look forward to seeing you guys next time.